Hi guys, it's Mr. Wedge, and uh, we've been looking at the artwork of Lorna Simpson. So today we're going to do a collage, kind of in her style. And Well, she has a lot of different styles, but we're going to just use one. So I've got a magazine I can cut up that I don't need anymore. Scissors and glue, and if you don't have uh, glue, you can use tape. But any kind of glue or tape will work for this, if it's clear tape. And then we've got a paintbrush, I've got some water and watercolor, a pencil, and a white paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is put my name on the back and my class code and then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to try my best to keep this paper clean because the white on the outside is going to be part of the artwork. Um, but first I'm going to flip through the magazine and see if I can find a picture of a person that I can cut out. Here's a person. Here's a person but they're a little bit too small and I also you know, he's kind of looking down at an angle, and I want somebody who's looking at me. So just flip through until you find something. This will work. All right, so I'm going to carefully cut out the person, but I only need, you know, the top half of their body and their face. But I don't need their hair because that's what I'm going to do today. So if you can see, I'm just really carefully cutting out. Make sure I have the face, but I don't want the hair at all because that's going to be sort of part of my artwork. So there we go. There's my person. I'm going to set my person aside for a second, and I'm going to um, use a trick that Lorna Simpson does, which is called wet and wet. So we're going to paint on the paper, but we're going to wet the paper first. So if your name's on the back, just use clean water and cover the area kind of in the middle. And then we can sort of right in the middle, we'll put some colors. It's totally up to you what colors. But do you see what happens if you wet the paper first? You get these really cool effects. And you can try different colors. And you can swirl it around and do different brush strokes. You could even have some lines that kind of just go off like that, kind of up into the air. And now we have to completely let that dry before we can glue onto it. So I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and just let this dry completely. So once your watercolor is completely dry, you can get your glue out and pretend it's this lady's hair. Well, look at that. That looks really cool already. And you can kind of move it around and figure out where you want it to be. I kind of like it like that. You know, if it's like this, it's going to be like way up in the air kind of thing. Actually, that looks pretty cool. So once you figure out where you want it, just put some glue down on your paper. Stick your person down. And that's it. Work hard, have fun.